Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another BT Neanderthal video. Today we're going to be doing something I haven't done before, which is a TLDW video commentary hell speedrun highlight only video. Anyways, let's get into it. We have Holy Fire and Resist Fire as our damage abilities, zeal for the extra hits using a fast scimitar attack weapon, and then charge for mobility. Now we get into the Countess after a really nice tower setup with two shrines and a waypoint next to the tower. We get in there, fighting the first Countess, and we get big Nefrun. And then we get Eldrun. So only single runes so far. Again, one rune again. What we're looking for is stealth, which is Tal Eth. Finally got a Tal, but still no Eth. Okay, we got it the next run. Two Rals is nice. Another thing that would have been nice would have been tier L for steel. Again, we're just going through and showing the highlights of the run. So that way you don't miss anything. Holy Fire is a lot stronger than it used to be compared to like 2.3. At least the aura ticks from it are very nice. And so like Duriel's going down fast. Some things just die from the auras, which is really nice. I tried using a Static Merc. Honestly, Static Merc was pretty bad, man. Like he does like good damage with the lightning at times, but the Static, he just does not like the Static. Another thing that we actually tried here, which I don't necessarily recommend, you can um, just go straight Holy Fire all the way, but we use Blessed Hammer spec, and you can see that spec right there. Um, until level 30, this is kind of just to speed up some things. So we respec from our normal den, and just went hammers for a little bit till we got to 30. Then we did Nightmare Den here. And we respect again to Fist of Heavens. And look at this. We got Serpent Skin Armor Viper Magi from Nightmare Countess. This has never happened before to me, which is absolutely wild. It rolled 34 res. And then this spec is very important. This is the spec we're going to be using for the rest of the game. So in the green, we have our main spec, which is Fist of Heavens Holy Bolt. One point conviction. In the yellow, we have Blessed Hammer. And then in the red is what we're going to do, what we're going to use against the Hell Ancients with Crushing Blow. And that's Smite Fanaticism. And as you can see here with Nightmare, it's actually shredding. It's doing a very good job. And the thing to keep track here is you can't deal damage to anything that's not a demon or undead. Yes, you can do lightning damage, a little bit of lightning damage with your Fist of Heavens, but it's not anything to write home about, and it's only like single target damage. This is Nightmare Chaos, and we are just like shredding the seal bosses, as you can see. Holy Bolt that is actually dealing more damage than Fist of Heavens. And yeah, we just kind of shred chaos in, in Nightmare. So for Nightmare Ancients, we actually used Lore Resist, Conviction, that's that one point Conviction I was talking about, and then Fist of Heavens for the lightning damage because the Ancients are just animals per se, quotation marks. They are not undead, they're not demons, so you can't use any form of Holy Bolt or real damage. So you had to struggle. Th I had to struggle through that. Nightmare Bale now. And Nightmare Bale, as you can see, we're just destroying with Holy Bolt. And we're at the 75 FCR breakpoint with our gear at this point, and look at this. 
absolutely shredding here in, at Indariel. And we're like around level 50 or so-ish here at this point. Same thing with Duriel and Health. The only thing about fighting this is you don't have concentration like Blessed Hammers uh, has. And then here's some AoE damage in Act 3 Hell. Again, we're in like our mid-50s here. Just showcasing how strong FOH actually is. Now, I would still say in some scenarios, Blessed Hammer is just far superior and more consistent. Um, something that was actually killing me often in a speedrun scenario was the lack of mobility when your character decided to attack because something was in range or you're trying to pick something up and get out of there really fast. It's not a very good quick react skill. Something that's really cool about this strategy right here with the council is that, you know, you can just shoot them from across the way. However, the little pillars uh, destroy your line of sight and make it kind of difficult. As you can see, like I had to move a couple times here and there to actually get them. But overall, honestly, pretty safe. And then you can just moat trick Mephisto. Now, as you can see, we're using conviction, but like at this point, we don't really need to use anything. There's really no like auras that we could use. We could do one point salvation. If we wanted to get an extra point, maybe do Radiment or something. But I was kind of just trying to do this in a speed run. This is Hell Chaos. Look at how good this is in Hell Chaos. By the way, the whole run for Hell Chaos took about like... I think it was like six minutes or so. Um, to clear Hell Chaos. Obviously, I started from Star. And like tried to go through as efficiently as I can. But look at how much damage we do in Hell Chaos. High, high 50s at this point. Level 60 or so. Then we have Infector spawn. And we kind of just drag them out after we spawn them in. And we're at 6 hours, 14 minutes on the clock at this point now. And look at our damage against Infector. That is disgusting damage for the level and gear that we have. Then I kind of just try to drag things in a line because, like I said, Holy Bolt does actually do more damage. It's just you have to put them in a line. Now, if you've got an insane amount of density that are all stacked up, then FOH can be better to like hit all directions, right? But like when they're lined up like that, look at that damage, man. Absolutely crazy. Then we go over here, hit up Vizier. That's the Chaos Run. We have Diablo, which takes a little bit and also is trying to stay out of range here from him because the Holy Bolts actually go like a screen and a half, which is kind of ridiculous. And then we, uh, we got him. So this is the part that I was talking about with Fanaticism and Smite with that spec. It's very important. We used Black Rune Word in order to... Uh, use the crushing blow and the attack speed and then we used hammers really bad hammers like level 13 with one concentration To finish them off once they're low. We can't use fist of heavens Against like the light immunes consistently and we also just tried to roll the ancients to be something safe ish That's not gonna just like insta one tap me like extra strong extra fast anything. That's just super dangerous and also I stand in the corner here just to prevent Talik from like actually whirlwinding. If you stay in range, they actually do less damage and they don't use their skills. That includes uh, Korlik. And if you saw there with the potions in uh, Ancients, that's just in case. Because you can't go back to town, you never know. Wave 1, we absolutely destroyed. Wave 2, we're still destroying also getting destroyed by the Might Aura. But overall, pretty much no problem. Wave 3 is a little bit dangerous, but still doing a lot of damage against them. See how I started off with FOH here while they're all grouped up? And then now while they're following me in like a straight line, then I'm using Holy Bolt. Because, again, Holy Bolt's doing a lot more damage 
in a straight line. Which is why I'm like trying to kite them behind me. Very satisfying once these guys are actually dead. But yeah, this, this wave was a little bit tricky. Wave 4 we actually kind of like cheesed a little bit. So I got a couple of them like weakened and a couple of them down here. Uh, kiting them down. Also there's an assailant back there. I had to drag some guys out because I literally couldn't kill them. So you got to be a little bit picky here in the throne room. Sometimes you got to drag them outside by just moving out of the throne room and then teleporting back in. And as you can see, the little cheese strat I was talking about here, I kind of just go up in the corner and a bunch of them are stuck on the right side. And because Holy Bolt has such a long range to it, I can just kind of snipe them from over here. Kind of like moting uh, Mephisto, if you will. And the cool thing about this spec is they've got so many hybrid options. Like, you only need 40 points for Holy Bolt and Fist of Heavens. And as you can see there, we're doing 3100 damage with Holy Bolt. And our resistances, Fire Res, Lightning Res, Cold Res, all actually pretty decent. But anyways, if you found this video interesting and you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. I will catch you guys next time. You're all beasts.